Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Paul Helmke. Thank you for being here, and it's great to see this kind of a crowd. It's a, it's a gorgeous Sunday night, and I know there's a lot of things going on, but uh, it's, uh, it's important uh, that you're here. At, uh, this week particularly has been, um, been a tough week uh, that points out uh, again why what we're doing and what you're supporting is so important. Gun violence in this country continues to be a big issue. The, uh, the shootings at Fort Hood, uh, the, uh, the, the shootings in Orlando, um, are just part of what goes on in this country too much every day. I picked up the um, LA Times this morning and uh, uh, you know, a story about Melody Ross, age 16, one of 200 kids uh, at a homecoming game and somebody fired into a crowd uh, uh, and uh, two men were hit and she was killed, 16 years old. I, I turn inside the pages of the LA Times and there's, uh, there's another story about a uh, Girl 16 fatally shot by boyfriend in Lincoln Heights. Uh, a boy 15 shot dead at house party in East Los Angeles. The gun violence in this country goes on too often. It goes on every day. And uh, when we see a situation like Fort Hood or, or some other big event, we focus as a country. But we forget too many times that uh, 32 people are murdered every day with a gun in this country. Another 50 people are killed with a gun by suicide or accident every day in this country. Another 170, 180 people are injured by a gun every day in this country. And it doesn't have to happen this way. Other countries have figured out that guns don't have to be so prevalent, don't have to kill so often. And uh, we're here to, to, to talk about some common sense, to say that uh, look at this as a public safety issue, look at this as a public health issue, look at this as a, as a common sense issue. And we can do something to make our communities and our neighborhoods and our families and our, our country safer. We've had successes. It's, uh, it's tough sometimes because we focus so much on, on what goes wrong, but we've had successes. This year, uh, just this summer, uh, there were two votes that were scored by the NRA. When the NRA scores votes, it's like saying this test is going to count to, to school kids. And uh, they, they tell some of these elected officials that, you know, we're going to really count this one, so you better behave. And some of these elected officials want to make sure they get good grades, so the NRA scores some votes. They lost two scored votes in a row this summer, first time in five years. That's something you should clap for. And one of the reasons why it's important to, to, to recognize that is it gets some of these elected officials to realize they don't have to toe that line. They don't always have to vote the way the gun pushers and the gun lobby tell them to vote. And so when a bill uh, to basically say that the weakest laws in the country should trump the strongest laws in the country with regard to get, who gets to carry a gun in, in public places, when that came up, we stopped it. And then we go to the NRA into, uh, into scoring the vote on the Supreme Court nominee. And we got a new Supreme Court justice whose experiences growing up in Brooklyn and being a prosecutor in Manhattan, I think will make her sensitive to the issues that we all face when we talk about uh, uh, gun violence in this country. So those were successes. But our biggest success this year was here in California. So thank you, California, for leading the way, because California, thank you, California. California, once again leading the nation, um, basically realized that one of the ways to deal with the gun violence problem is to deal with ammunition. I remember when I started, someone said, you know, there's an NRA, but, uh, you know, they can't have a National Bullets Association because that, you know, the NBA's already been taken. So, um, so it's, uh, you know, to be serious, the regulating bullets is, is something that makes sense. And, and it's, it's amazing. You know, people with felony records aren't allowed to possess guns or bullets, but we do background checks sometimes. Uh, when they buy a gun, but we never did a background check when they bought the bullets. So now in California, we're going to be doing things to track the way that bullets are sold and to treat it like we treat some of those medicines that you can't get, uh, you know, you have to go to the pharmacy window first to get them. So California, thank you for doing this.